Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to get local hosts to help you host like websites, web pages, anything you desire. Well any not anything, but like an HTML page. So if you want I'm gonna quickly define what local host is. Local host is a host name that refers to the computer that is ex executing a program. You can also think of it as meaning this computer. Okay, so now let's get on with the tutorial. So first, we're going to have to go into extensions, and then we're going to search up live server. Then we're going to click on install. You're just going to have to wait for it to install. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay, so now this is a small thing. So you can see, this is like the local host pages. It can be a custom port. You can, I, I'll show you how to change it. But the main port, the main like host name will be 127.0.0.1. I'll be changing that to local host. Okay, so now that we have that actually installed, we're going to actually go into our folder and add in an index.html. I'm just going to make a simple HTML file. And then I'm just going to add an eight header and one header. Okay. And I'm going to do H2. Okay, so now that we have this done, we're going to click here. You should see a go live. This is from the extension live server that we installed. Click on go live. Now, it should be starting right here. So, this is a header. And... So this is header one, this is header two. And here it is. This is the port 5500. Zero, zero. Okay, and this is the title that we made here. So you can see the title we have right here. We have this title. It's right here, as you can see. We also had the header, first header, and I typed it. This is a header. Same thing for like and subscribe as our second header. 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 So now we're going to do the part of changing to this host name to ho this host name to local host okay so go into visual studio code and then right click here and then we're going to go into okay so actually we're going to go into extensions and then right here we're going to click on the settings here and then we're going to go into extension settings well so in here Scroll down a bit, and you can sh you should see this. Replace this with local host. And let's continue going down. Just if I'm pretty sure there's a way to change the port. I just don't remember where. Okay. Um. But either way, we're still able to change one two seven point zero point zero point one to a local host. Now, I'm pretty sure it should work. So now, we're just going to click to close the server. Now, run the server again. See? Now we're in localhost. But if we were to go back into 127.0.0.1, it won't be working. Sorry. Or it still will work. Because this is actually the, the default host name, so the host. So either way, it still actually connect, but we changed it to localhost. So whenever we actually, so whatever we'll do HTML, whenever you will do HTML files and open them, this is what you would do. So I'm going to test. Here's also proof that it actually does still work. It updates pretty much each time we update the code. So. So. 
Okay. Uh, now, if you refresh the page, we the reason why this didn't work is because we didn't actually save it. So, Control S to save. You also see a number right here. Now, it will show header three, and it will still show it to one seven point zero point zero point one, the default one default host name before we added to local it also still updates here so if i were to change it to blah then we open it refresh the page okay i forgot to save it again but if you want it to auto save by itself that's what i do i click file and then activate auto save now if i just edit this it's only the so local host. Same thing for here. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, please like and subscribe once again. Thank you. Bye.